your girl, Dana Michelle. If you're new and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Hey, y'all. It's another day. Um, Y'all, I just have to get right into it. I'm going to give y'all a clue. And I need y'all to guess who I'm referencing, okay? You ready? I think we're going to do the clue in a song. Let me get my microphone. Y'all ready for the song? <clears throat> Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? Y'all got it, don't you? Y'all know who we talking about? We are talking about <laughs> civil rights activists. <laughs> revolutionary civil rights boots wearing Jonathan Majors. Did y'all see that interview? Y'all, you know, I don't believe his story is completely false and I don't believe the ex-girlfriend story is completely false, but the math is not mathing. The interviews are not interviewing. The facts are not faxing. Whatever. Uh, Jonathan Majors is an actor. And what we witnessed in that interview was horrible acting. <laughs> because do you really think we believe you? Honestly, just watching his face and his the way he was acting and reacting to the questions and stuff like that. I was like, my first thing was just like, did y'all see when they did like a little cameo of Megan sitting in the back of the interview during the whole interview? I, I, my concern is about Megan, my good, beautiful, black Leo sister. Sis, are you okay? Like granted, their relationship really is none of our business. Um. Megan Good is a smart woman. She's a beautiful woman. And I maybe we don't know what it is, but sis, blink, flutter if you're okay. Because that interview was super cringy and he's clearly lying. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what jobs he keeps and what he actually, and which ones he actually loses. But I ain't buying it. I ain't buying it. And then did you hear him talk about Megan being his Coretta? Baby, 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 no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. Do we love Coretta Scott King? Yes, but let her struggle be her struggle. Don't put that on Megan, the good. Come on, brother. Wait, no, 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 no. No. Um... Yeah, I'm not feeling Jonathan Majors um, at all in this situation. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. So yeah, you guys, I am getting my morning started. I'm about to do some work on my computer. And um, and then I have to take her to another appointment today. She's getting her Botox for her migraines. And then we're gonna go check on Cammy, and then tomorrow we'll be back at the hospital <laughs> for Kyra's apheresis. So that's gonna be a lot of what I vlog this week <laughs> because that's my life, okay? Um, also y'all, my client is due in two days, so I'm also preparing myself for that. Um, I do have to finish making a playlist for my client. She has like all these songs that she wants me to put on a playlist, like some gospel songs, some songs that are very meaningful to her and her husband and stuff like that. Some songs that um, kind of go along with the baby's name. So I'm excited to finish completing that. And um, I'm going on a hike this weekend, a healing hike, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, you guys, I am still working on the January mission, which is declutter and organize. I'm still working on that. My living room is still a disaster, but that's okay. Cause it's a work in progress. I'm doing a little bit every day. 
and it will be done. Um, what else? I think that's it, you guys. But yeah, I just had to get on here really quick and give my little two cents about Jonathan Majors because, baby. And kudos to the interviewer. Was that Soledad? I don't know what that lady's name is, but she held it together real quick. And I know she's got some, I don't know if she's, um, what race she is or her ethnicity, eth blah, blah, blah. her ethnicity, ethnicity is, but she looked like she might have some sister girl in her. She might have a little Latina in her. Either way, the fact that she was able to keep her face from looking at him like, say what? Kudos to her. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think about this whole Jonathan Majors thing. It ain't looking. I'm, I mean, I'm not the judge or the jury. They done already came up with their verdict. But it's it, it don't smell good. Yeah, it don't smell too good. But all right, y'all. I'm going to get started with the rest of my day. I'm definitely going to check in with you guys when we start moving and all that stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, y'all. So guess what, y'all? I ordered a completely brand new hot set and I'm so proud of myself because this is my first set of brand new pots um, and they're granite y'all so they're all healthy and everything. Uh, thank you to my mommy and daddy for the Amazon gift card to help me get these pots because sure did. Merry Christmas. I don't know if you guys can see the name of the pots on y'all side. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see it. It's GT Chill. I don't know. It's marble stone. Excuse me. So I thought that I would open up my pots with y'all. Okay. So these are pot protectors. I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is like you sit the hot pots on in them so they don't mess up the countertop. I don't know. They feel like they're fabric. And there is one, two, how many are in here? Let's see. Oh, they're like felt. Oh, there's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what these are for, y'all, but we'll figure it out. So these. All right, so I'm guessing these are lids. Oh, no. They're so pretty, y'all. All right. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I don't know what happened with that last clip, but the sound just went out. I don't know if it was my mic or what. So I have assembled all the pots, you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys. Only thing is y'all, this pot right here, they all came with screws and this screw is like stuck in here. And it like, I don't know if the screw is stripped in there, but I cannot get it loose at all. So I literally just sent an email to the manufacturer, letting them know, sending pictures and stuff. So hopefully they'll send me a replacement. But they were all really easy to assemble. I'm so excited, you guys. They're so pretty. And they're solid, you hear me? Solid. And then I have this one. This frying pan or saute pan. This saute pan, it's just deeper and smaller. And then this one. And then the lids. Most of the lids are kind of universal, so these lids right here. This lid, the one that it doesn't work, but 
So yeah, you guys, these are my new pots. And then what you guys couldn't see or hear in the video, I also bought new cooking utensils that are made from silicone, a healthier choice. So I got rid of all my plastic cooking utensils. I did keep some of my <clears throat> metal ones because I do still have some stainless steel pots that I'll still use from time to time, but I'll definitely let you guys know how they cook once I break them in. Um, and I'll put the link to these utensils as well as these pots in the description box. So I had to make a really tough decision and I think I'm gonna have to renew my lease here in this apartment. So I figure if I have to stay here, I'm gonna make the most of it, whether it's for six months or a year. And so I also went on Amazon and bought a new kitchen faucet that I'm gonna try to install myself just to give my kitchen a better look. You know, like, do I wanna be living in an apartment? No. And even if I did have to live in an apartment, these probably wouldn't be my choice apartments, but the way the economy is, the world, the way the world is, this is where I'm at right now and that's okay. I'm just gonna make the most of where I'm at and that's exactly what I plan on doing. I'm getting new pots. Um, I got a new kitchen faucet. I also ordered new handles for my kitchen cabinets. However, I have to return them to Amazon because the measurement was just like a little bit off. So I'm gonna be replacing the cabinet handles. I'm just gonna do little things, little inexpensive things to make this home while it's home, so. Hey y'all, so I did send an email to customer service regarding the faulty pot that I received and they responded right away. And in less than a week, I received my replacement pot. So I would definitely recommend going with these pots. You will not be sorry. See y'all, peace and love.